again? I must admit, you're all brimming with puissance. Will that puissance, however, aid you against my new subject? I know I'll enjoy finding out. Cut the crap. Look, guy, all we want is an audience with the General as soon as possible. Sorry, but I can't let you do that. The General is a valued financial contributor to our research. You'll simply have to participate in our experiments a little longer. Faria! That's not her. Faria has a different space-time symbological side wave pattern. How very discerning of you to notice. As you have likely surmised, this one is a clone. But don't assume that she's any less formidable than her prototype. But perhaps you should be less concerned with her identity and more concerned that she has her sights on you. Despicable. We've only ever succeeded in producing one of these. You think this is a good idea? Won't the General be angry with us if we use it without his permission? Not if we win, he won't. Yes. But if we lose... <laughs> no matter. Let the experiment begin, I say. I will take you down! Apologies, General Alma. Please, let me build another to atone for this most egregious that won't of be errors. necessary, for I now know you're an imbecile who chooses personal gain over the greater good. I have no need for someone with neither morals nor dignity. Sir, please wait. Based on your past achievements, however, perhaps you deserve one last chance. You don't mean to... No! Please, sir! I beg of you! Don't! Anything but that! Everyone brace for space-time transcension!
Where are we now? Nowhere real, it seems. It said they use space-time symbology to create this place. It's probably a parallel dimension. Dimension? Bingo. This whole dimension is emitting waves only given off when space-time symbology activates. <sighs> I could get used to this! <sighs> oh! How good it feels to be the pinnacle of progress! I don't give a damn about Alma anymore! Now that I'm in this form, I don't need him to make the universe mine! Oh, 
Utter disgrace to humanity that guy was. What say you, Captain Kenny? Is this distorted cosmos not the perfect stage upon which to enact our final encounter? You never miss a chance to show off, do you? There may be seven of you now, but how many will there be when you reach me? Hmm? If you even do, that is. <laughs> I believe he wants us to pay him a visit. Then let's tick him up on that.
Let's meet at the training hall. Ted, you and Fidel go way back, right? What's his relationship with you-know-who? Hmm. Well, they're like a big brother and little sister to each other. No, wait, uh, it's the other way around. <laughs> so they really are like that. Hold on there, ma'am. Does that mean you've got your sights set on Fidel? No, I already have them set on someone else. You do? That someone wouldn't happen to be dependable old big brother figure me, would it? Aha, uh -huh. I'll add you to the list of candidates. You know, while hitting on some women, I learned a lot of people think something's odd with this war. Is that so? For example, they're wondering how those advanced weapons appeared out of nowhere, and why Rasulia can't stand up to them. And what does all this have to do with hitting on the locals? Don't underestimate ordinary people. They already realize how peculiar it is that Rasulia has been upstaged, and by a nation with much less martial prowess no less. That still doesn't explain what this has to do with hitting on the locals. This is incredible news, yes siree. Gotta gather more intelligence. sister too. The two of us, we were always together back at the laboratory, but we had no freedom. None at all. I was lucky and got away from there. I'm free, but my sister, she's still trapped. They're not going to let her go. I want to tell my sister.
pardon me. Okay. We'll meet in front of the turbo lift. Is something wrong? Well, the board you taught me how to use is no longer working. Were you looking for something? I was looking for training halls. Well, we have a training room. Can you be so kind as to show me the way? I don't want to break this again. Do you happen to know when Anne's birthday is? Yes, indeed. Are you gonna get her something? I mean, she saved me when I got hit by those gleaming sticks. So, I would like to pay her back sometime, if I can. I see. Despite the aura she puts off, Anne likes cute things, right? That's why I was thinking of getting her a handkerchief embroidered with a cat. I bet she'll love it. You know, I saved you too, so... What'll you be getting me as a present? I'll think of something good, just wait. <laughs> 